Despite challenges, India's electric vehicle EV, industry has shown remarkable resilience and growth. Both domestic and foreign companies, in collaboration with the Indian government, have pledged substantial investments, totaling over 1 Indian rupee lakh CR, over the next 5 to 10 years. This commitment mirrors the confidence that stakeholders have in the potential of the Indian EV market. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel, thank you for subscribing and supporting EVs Queen, if you already haven't, hit that subscribe button. Your support would mean the world to us, check out our other videos. Before delving deeper into understanding the factors driving the burgeoning Indian EV revolution, it's essential to highlight that Union Minister for Road Transport and Highways, Nidin Gudkari, reported an astonishing 300% increase in EV sales in 2022. Furthermore, he anticipated that the Indian EV market would reach $266 billion by 2030. Additionally, India currently boasts around 3 MN registered EVs, according to Vahan, with projections estimating sales of 10 MN EVs by 2030, generating employment for 50 MN individuals. The EV boom is evident in the remarkable shift in sales trends. Between January and July 2023, EV sales skyrocketed 131%, surging from 25,100 units to 58,076 units. In contrast, internal combustion engine ICE, vehicles recorded a mere 5% growth, bringing the total to 2.2 MN units from 2.1 MN units during the previous year. India is home to over 700 EV startups, showcasing the industry's dynamic nature. Concurrently, established ICE manufacturers have accelerated their transition to the electric vehicle segment. The industry is at a pivotal juncture, driven by urbanization, environmental concerns, and government policies, leading to a surge in the adoption of electric two-wheelers and three-wheelers. According to Sandeep Bammer, the founder and co-managing partner of Green Frontier Capital, which has its investments in EV startups such as Blue Smart Mobility, Electric PE, Revfin, and Battery Smart Swap Stations, India is poised to excel in the electric two- and three-wheelers segments within five years, driven by indigenous technologies and robust local supply chains. India has the potential to lead the global EV ecosystem, spanning battery research and manufacturing, software solutions, and sustainable battery recycling. This transcends transportation, it's about reshaping India's energy paradigm, advancing sustainability, and setting global benchmarks, especially for developing economies mirroring India's socio-economic structure, Bammer said. EVs encompass multiple market segments and offer diverse opportunities. These segments include original equipment manufacturers, OEMs, EV financiers, deep tech enablers, charging station providers, battery manufacturers, assemblers, BMS providers, and many more. Each of these emerging markets presents fresh opportunities for startups and provides a competitive advantage for early entrants. Unlike other emerging markets like cryptocurrency and gaming, the growth of the EV industry is inevitable. Amit Gupta, the co-founder and CEO of Yulu, credits the substantial traction within various segments of the EV industry to the rising environmental consciousness and supportive government policies. These segments encompass EV ownership, mobility as a service as MOS, and battery as a service as BAS, among others. In its report, Niti Aayog estimates that the cumulative demand for 120 GWh of batteries during 2017 to 2020 would have incurred a cost of $24 billion for imported packs if a domestic industry had not developed. In contrast, establishing a $6 billion to $9 billion pack assembly industry in India would significantly reduce costs, presenting a massive opportunity for Indian startups and companies to assemble batteries and manufacture cells. Understanding the math, prominent companies like Ola, too, have made substantial commitments to battery manufacturing. Ola has plans to invest 7,614 crore Indian rupees to build battery cells and four-wheeler EVs in Krishnaguri, Tamil Nadu, and an additional 4,106 crore Indian rupees in constructing a 500 ksq feet battery innovation center in Bengaluru. Similarly, Tata has signed a deal to establish a lithium-ion cell factory with an investment of about 13,000 crore Indian rupees, $1.58 billion. Ola aims to build a 100 GWh battery plant, 
while Tata targets a 20GWH capacity. Other major players, too, have committed significant investments, with Hyundai planning to invest $2.4 billion over the next 10 years. Maruti Suzuki and Toyota are also allocating substantial investments of $1.3 billion and 630MN, respectively, towards their EV lineups. Besides, the government has also announced a couple of production-linked incentive PLI, schemes to bridge these supply gaps. One of them, with an outlay of 25.9 thousand Indian rupees CR, is designed for the auto component sector. The other one, with an allocation of 18.1 thousand Indian rupees CR, is meant to bolster the advanced chemistry cell ACC, battery industry at a pan-India level. Reliance New Energy, Ola Electric and Rajesh Exports were earlier shortlisted under the PLI scheme for ACC battery storage. The effort will reduce the overall cost of manufacturing by significant margins. The plants under PLI schemes are expected to be operational by 2024 and, according to industry experts. The development of charging infrastructure, aggregation of public charging stations, real-time vacancy information, and component manufacturing are also the key imperatives of an evolving EV ecosystem. In pursuit of the ambitious 2030 goals, the Indian EV sector has seen significant partnerships and initiatives taking shape, and, along with fintechs, EV is another area where we have witnessed an increased collaboration between startups and giants. Unsu Kim, MD and CEO of Hyundai Motor India, had earlier emphasized the pivotal role of strategic partnerships in expediting EV adoption among customers, aligning with the national objective of achieving carbon neutrality. This collaborative spirit holds the essence of India's burgeoning EV landscape. Rather than intense competition, the industry is witnessing a surge in collaborations. For instance, Tata Power has joined forces with Hyundai Motors to develop fast charging infrastructure. Mahindra and Mahindra is contemplating a partnership with Volkswagen for their modular electric drive matrix MEB, platforms. Earlier this year, Uber India inked an agreement with Tata Motors to supply 25,000 EV sedans by the next year. Uber has further expanded its partnership portfolio, collaborating with EV fleet partners Lithium Urban Technologies, Everest Fleet Private LTD, and moved to deploy 25,000 electric cars on the Uber platform in India over the next two years. Uber has also forged a partnership with CYPP Electric to introduce 10,000 EV two-wheelers in Delhi by 2024. Uber has additionally announced a partnership with Sibi to unlock 1,000 crore Indian rupees in financing. Meanwhile, Amazon India has set ambitious targets, aiming to transition 50% of its end-mile fleet to EVs by 2030. The company has already established partnerships, including one with TVS Motors to supply 100,000 iCubes during this period. Neuron Energy, a battery assembly startup, is actively engaged with multiple brands in the two-wheeler battery segment and is exporting its products to various countries, including Africa, the Middle East, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, and Nepal. Furthermore, the company has plans to expand its horizons by exporting solar batteries to Africa by 2024. Neuron Energy has also forged a partnership with an Italian manufacturer to export golf cart batteries to the US and Canada. With an extensive lineup of projects, the company aims to capture a larger market share and achieve substantial sales growth in the dynamic and rapidly expanding EV industry, said Pratik Kumdar, the CEO and co-founder of Neuron Energy. Thanks for watching, have a great day.